Some say sound off. My name is Thomas Reynolds. Welcome to it. I'm host of Some Say with Tom and Nikki every Monday through Friday at 3 o'clock on MixLR.com slash FYI Nation. Let's get to the sound off, shall we? Yes. Oh, we're going to be talking about a different Pastor Pat. Sorry, go back, back, go back away. We're going to be talking about someone different today. His name is Governor Huckabee. Yes, he's a pastor too, and he thinks, talking to Jim Baker, remember him? Another pastor. Yep, there's another one. Yeah, sure. Yep, there's another one. He was talking about how great America is, because America is just so lovely. America does no wrong, and if you think otherwise, you're an un-American bastard. In fact... You're a piece of... Chicken crap. Yes, you are. You are so totally, 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 totally un-American. If you think that America isn't great. In fact, you're probably a liberal, too. And you're probably a gay. I'm just saying. I'm pointing out the obvious. And a Democrat. You're definitely a Democrat. But, let's be honest, folks. Let's cut the jokes and let's be honest. If you are going to believe in this country, you have to accept the good with the bad. The good is, yes, we have helped. Yes, we have helped in World War II. Yes, we did good in that war. Probably not the nuclear option, but that can be an argument for another day. We have done bad. We went into Iraq under false pretenses. We have plundered the middle class, making them the poor. We don't acknowledge the poor. We make food stamps recipients take drug tests. That's only the tip of the iceberg, let alone what we did to the African Americans with slavery, which we had to fight a civil war to end, and the native peoples. Not to mention, if we're going to talk about Christianity, what we did to the Mormons... Because they were polygamous. And what we did to them to force them to change their religion to become a state. So, if you're going to be a true American, you have to take the good with the bad. And not just gloss over it and continue to say how great America is. A true American, an American patriot accepts the fact that, yes, we did wrong, and it wasn't all the Democrats' fault. And that makes you a true American. When you could say, okay, Jay Nixon may not be the greatest governor, who happens to be a member of the Democratic Party, and Richard Nixon may not be the greatest president, who happens to be the president of the United States as a Republican, then... You're probably a decent American. But if you just broad brush Republicans or if you just broad brush Democrats, maybe you need to check yourself. So, two questions for you in the comments after you watch how great America is from Mike Huckabee's little clip here provided by Right Wing Watch. One, do you believe America is a great country? Two, do you not believe America is a great country? Three, are you in the middle of the road like I am? And it's perfectly okay to be in the middle of the road and think America is pretty good, but it needs to be a lot better. Let me know what you think. Some say sound off. Enjoy the clip of Mike Huckabee. Or don't, because he is a little bit, well, it's Mike Huckabee. But here's the clip of Mike Huckabee, and let me know what you think in the comments section. Wow. And you folks at home school, this ought to be one of your books you assign to your kids. Oh, yeah. Because this is history. There, there's more solid history what have they done by the way governor to our history books in our schools ah well it's it's pretty frightening in that there are so many uh ways in which the education system is not educating but indoctrinating it's why we see so many parents who are going to home school or who are pulling their children out of the government operated schools uh maybe to a private school or something because they don't want their core moral values uh undermined they want them undergirded And no longer is that the case when we're told that America is an evil, imperialistic nation that's been brutal and and hostile to people, when the truth is we have fed, we've protected, and we've cared for the most of the world. When there was trouble, who did the world call upon? They called upon Americans. When there was a tsunami, when there's been a typhoon, when there has been 
uh, a horrible war. Who shows up with medicine, with supplies, mm -hmm. with food, with clothing? It's the Americans who show up. That's right. I'm tired of being told that we're a bad country. Right. We're not a perfect country, but by golly, we're a great country, a great nation, yeah. a generous nation, yeah. and we need to act like it.